much fanfare. Here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the heavyweight championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Bones Jones steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. through the middleweight division until his rival Alex Pereira showed up. But as he gets back on the proven ground here tonight, DC, most people believe on any given Saturday night, this is still the best middleweight in the world. Well, he's proven it time and time again. He has been the man for so long, it would seem hard for him not to operate in that space. But because he believes in himself, because he recognizes who he is, he takes wins and losses as good as anyone I've ever seen. But when it comes down to the X's and the O's, the guy in his fight ability, Israel Adesanya is as good as they come. A phenomenal kickboxer in much improved wrestling that allows for him to stay upright and make guys fight him where he needs them to. Really seems as though he is getting closer to that mixed martial arts prime to your point in terms of putting all the skills together. Israel Adesanya, the last style vendor, back in the octagon here tonight. for this heavyweight fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this Ready. one. All right, so with that touch of the gloves, we are underway with this stand-up only fight. A couple of rules in play here, we remind you. No grappling of any type. Also, fighters cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see how it plays out. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones' call apart. Jones gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Real quick leg kick. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. So 
Just over 20 table strikes. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. Great job. Told you off the top that he had a reach advantage and he really is using it. Nice punch there. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense. Oh! This could be it! All right, so John Jones having his way with an opponent as we have come to expect in the octagon. He's got the long-range weapon we're going tonight. I mean, it's the striking of Jones, his ability to set traps, and his ability to make you fight his fight at his range. When you can't close the distance on Jones, you will have problems. That's exactly what's happening with his opponent tonight. He has not been able to get close enough to find success. Under a minute to go. He rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now it's coming back. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do oh, to no. stay in this fight. Oh, Round two oh, coming oh, up next. Stop. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, back to the stools for 60 seconds. That gives us a chance to re-rack some replays, including what we believe is the strike that caused the cut on his nose. Yeah, beautiful strike that lands, causes this cut, opens him up on the bridge of the nose. It's not a bad cut. But if he continues to go forward, his opponent is a sniper. And he's going to keep hitting him in that same spot. Move your head. Really choose the times in which you're going to advance to try to get to this guy. you got to be careful, though, because he is so good at picking his shots. And, of course, it's hard to know the extent to which that has compromised his breathing. But that corner was fired up. They want him to be more de defensively sound as this fight continues. The fighter blocks a punch. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that one landed right on the spot. Now we're going. Oh, he lands a big left hand. Oh. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You got to start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. 59 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. And now a head kick to boot. Just over two minutes to go in the round. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Jones' his nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems to bother.
Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 16 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, John Bones Jones! All right, what a highlight here tonight. John Jones, your winner by KO. Some are surprised to learn that John Jones has double-digit decision wins in the UFC. No scorecards needed tonight. Well, that's because he has this ability. When he is on his game, he can do this to the best fighters in the world. So it does get a bit surprising when you hear a decision, but even in...